uh, sometimes I say things on the internet and I'm like, why are you saying this on the internet? But I have to get this off my chest. I have to issue an apology, several apologies actually, and it's not often that Pats fans apologize, so buckle up. First, I gotta apologize to Tom Brady because what I'm about to say probably makes me a small and petty person. Secondly, I gotta apologize to fans who root for the other 31 teams in the NFL. Because a few years ago, when things were good in New England, I said something really obnoxious like, why do people hate Tom Brady? Don't they realize they're witnessing something historic? Don't you have to appreciate his greatness? This year has made it clear that no, you don't. And I can't believe I was ever unself-aware enough to think otherwise. Watching Brady in a Bucks jersey has been weird all year, but watching him in a playoff game with Tampa totally sucked. I'm embarrassed to admit this because there are many Patriots fans now rooting for the Bucks' success and I admire you. I wish I could say the same. I've never been married, but watching Brady win a wildcard game with another team is what I imagine it would feel like to see pictures of my ex-husband on vacation with his new family. Now, this definitely would have been easier to stomach if Brady left the Patriots and fell apart the way the Patriots fell apart without him, but that's not what happened. Not only is my ex thriving, my family is a mess without him. So it's too reductive to say that Brady is the only reason the Pats won six Super Bowls, but he had a lot to do with it. Look, being a sports fan usually means being in pain, but being a Patriots fan over the past 20 years meant feeling invincible. Towards the end, I stopped worrying about losing. That's insane. A 20 year dynasty in sports is the equivalent of three human lifetimes. But thanks to karma, I finally get what it's been like for fans of other teams to have to deal with Brady all this time. I don't know what happens to Tampa going forward, but the Bucks will probably make it to another Super Bowl and I will feel like a bad person for wanting the man who won me six championships to lose. I don't know whether other Patriots fans really want Brady to win without us. Maybe you're much better people than I am, or maybe you've just repressed your darkest impulses rather than say them out loud publicly. The bottom line is that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't just selflessly root for you, Tom. I'm sorry to the Patriots fans who will yell at me on the internet because of that. And I'm sorry it took me 20 years to wrap my head around how miserable the Patriots must have made fans of other teams. But you know what? I'm not sorry it happened. You can take away my quarterback, but you can't take my memories.